Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video here on Let's Walk Around Stockholm Another day, another walk, you know it First of all, thank you for the amazing feedback of yesterday's video with my new friend Matt from Canada It was a lot of fun actually, he's a great guy, we, we got along really well so uh, Matt, I hope you have a safe trip back to Canada and it was great to meet you and um, yeah, the feedback I got from the, from the chat gang was amazing so yeah, let's do more of those speaking of doing more of those, tomorrow is going to be a big one, people because um, tomorrow we're going to go to Central Station and I'm going to meet Olof yes, that's already cool but we have another very special guest on tomorrow's walk so stay tuned and I can already reveal it's one of the chat gang it's a subscriber so yeah it's gonna be lots of fun so not one not two but three people on tomorrow's walk stay tuned so let's not go outside because let me check this out here Ugh, it's horrible weather I went into downtown I bumped into a friend time was passing by and I was like I hope it stops raining it doesn't stop raining and then I was like this is the perfect day to do the video that many of you have requested today I'm going to the store with many names with a big reputation I'm going to System Bolaget System Bolaget which is also called Systemet or Bolaget it means the government owned liquor store it's a chain of uh, liquor stores that has like 441 all across Sweden and it's the only liquor store or the only store that has the permit to sell alcoholic beverages over 3.5% so light beers um, you can buy in the supermarket but if you want wine, beer, liquor, sp you know, uh, vodka, whatever, that kind of stuff you know, they only sell it in the government owned store which is called System Bolag so let's try to get in. We are at T Centralen, um, the entrance of uh, Stockholm Central City um, Central Station. Um, but I think the entrance to System Bologet is also in here. There is usually a few security guys. So let's see. Maybe I have to put a little break in this video and try to sneak in. But let's see how it goes. Let's see if I get stopped or not. And if I do get stopped, it's also part of the fun. Um, so let's check out their, um, as we call it in Swedish, it's a nice word of the day, Utbud. Like their, um, their range of products, you know, what they got to offer. Um, so yeah, let's see, let's find the entrance first. I think it's somewhere around here. It's very busy here and that's because it's... Um, <coughs> sorry, um, that's because it's rainy. And then when it's rainy, it gets always really like busy and crowded in here. So let's see, let's, let's point the camera a bit down. All right, I'm in here anyway. Let's see where the entrance is of System Bologet. Maybe one more down, not sure. Um, let's see, oh, it's over there, yeah. I don't actually need anything, but it's still fun to have a look. Maybe just for the fun of it, I'll buy one small beer. Because it always feels a bit weird when you go into a store, you don't really buy anything, you know how it is. It was a bit weird. Alright, so here we've got the ham shop, the supermarket, but that's not where I'm going. Yes, I'm going in here. System Bolaget, yes. So what do we got here? Wines. They have so many different things here. This is just the red wine. So it's all divided in like countries here. You got Italy. Austrian. USA wines. Barbara Dusty. All right. So how much is this? 151. It's like 50. 15 euros for a good Italian wine. Um, they also got cheaper ones, but usually that's in a different section. See, these ones are like, this is like 10 euros. Where's this from? Guatemala. Hmm. Cool. 
usually it's also like divided in um you know the way they taste for example in white wine it's like dry wines or t you know flavored i don't know i don't know much about wine anyway so what's this oh, cool not a big expert on wine so yeah the best deals are these ones right so it's these boxes the bag in box i think it's called so for example this one you know you can get it a big one like this few liters for 15 euros um, oh this is funny looking hmm. so it's a tricky one right when you get like visitors or whatever you have to get yourself some wine and you don't know is the person coming a wine expert what am i getting i'm just always i'm just basically looking at the bottle what looks nice <laughs> no idea if it, it's like tasty or whatever Ooh, look at this fella he looks like he had a few glasses of wine in his life <laughs> I think we should go to my favorite section, the beers. Oh, wait, champagne. Oh, this is alcohol free. It's pretty cool as well. It's bubbly stuff. So you have someone visiting that doesn't drink or something, then you can get it. <coughs> What's this? Like spirits, martini, Campari. Oh, so the security guy looking at me. Um, McLeod. That sounds very Scottish. Yeah, single malt Scottish whiskey. I never really understand what the single malt is about. Maybe someone can tell me from Scotland. What does that mean? Single malt. Is there a double malt as well, or what's the what's the thing? I don't know. What's this like? Bombay sapphire. Gin. Ugh, gin is not very tasty. I think. Not so fun. What's this? Oh, small bottles. Oh, this looks fun. <coughs> Alvarino. Sounds tropical. What's this? It's white wine in the can. You don't see that very often. Cool. What else do we got? Oh, absolute vodka. <laughs> this is nice. One of those small packages. Hmm. That's funny, some bigger bottles. Captain Morgan. That one is quite good, I've had it once. Small batch, or oh, Irish whiskey. It's another good question, like what's the difference between like Irish whiskey and Scottish whiskey? That's the question. Oh, Jägermeister. Oh, unfortunately, I drank a little bit of Jägermeister in my life. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now we're getting to my, my section. Beers. Oh, Belgian beer. Duval. To be honest, I talk more about beer than actually drink it. I'm not such a big drinker, although it sometimes sounds like I am. But I just like the whole, you know, concept of brewing and small local breweries stockholm brewing company hmm. this looks nice Ooh, this is a big bottle big wave golden ale so yeah question to the chat gang what's your favorite type of beer see the you know they offer such a wide range of different styles upon styles ipa indian pale ale cool mm, where should i go Let's check this out newcastle brown ale that's uk i think yeah a brew dog that's quite a famous um brewery actually they do a lot of um craft beers What's this called? Popples. Oh, Swedish. Ballast point. 
bright light. Same thing here goes with like what I also do with the wine. I just look at the bottles. I think it's funny. So also these are ales. Same with this one. Also brew dog. So the question is, what should I get? I should just have one one beer. You know what? I'm going to get a Brooklyn Defender. And why? No idea. I'm just going to get it because I can. Oh, that was a word joke. Because I can, because it's in the can. So when we get here, we get more away from your everyday, from your craft beers and more to your everyday alcoholic beers. <laughs> kind of. Oh, Breezer. Have you got, ever had this? This is like watermelon flavored and cider ginger beer they got it all here man raspberry mojito hmm. you know what i'm gonna get one of these as well raspberry mojito why not folks what's this Oh yeah, this is a true classic, Pilsner Rukel. So when you have the cans like this, you know, people when they have parties, they just take a full case like that. This is a classic Swedish beer, Falcon. As you can see, they got everything here. Red Stripe, San Miguel, Briska. Oh. Some of the lagers are gone. Oh, I've never seen this one before. Marie Stotts Old Dogs. Oh, <laughs> that looks pretty Swedish. Yeah, Swedish elk brew. Oh, here they got some um, information about how they're brewing it. That's pretty cool. So yeah, when you look, when you look like under 30, they check your ID here. Um, so, like teenagers and stuff, they don't get beer here. You have to be adult. Kung, King. Norland's Gold. This is one of the most famous beers in Sweden. It's like, you know, the gold of the north. We've got some light beers here. Oh, yeah, some Danish two boy. To Borg, I must say. Elix by Stella Etois, also such a classic. You know, I actually think I like looking at beers more than I do drinking it. Heineke. Ah. Heineck is okay, but it's not so big here in, in Sweden. Oh, this is alcohol free. It's called No Worries. <laughs> Must be fun to design beer cans, right? Oh, all of this is alcohol free, actually. What do we got here? Oh, champagne. That looks fun. Oh, these are some of the more expensive bottles. Look at this one, thousand crowns like 100 euros for this big bottle oh this looks nice shiny no you don't see that very often bubbly in a can <laughs> we got here also some champagne oh here it says, Musir and the Wien, som framställt en tradition metod för jäsa en andra gång på flaska. Vinet får sin brödiga toner av gästställningen. Okay, so in other words, you should keep your bottle upside down. I think that's what it says. So it's better. Here we got the teals. This one is not that big as some of the Systembolaget in the suburbs are like super, super big. Um, this is not too bad. 
Oh, this is wine with flavors. Apple wine. Smultron. Uh, I'm not really sure what smultron is. Some kind of berry. All right, so hope you enjoyed this video, little video from Sistine Belaget. Um, actually, this one I really like. So, if you have any more questions about, you know, Sistine Belaget or alcohol sale in Sweden, let me know. Um, and let's try to do a thumbs up here. Yes. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow with two special guests. All right, bye bye.